The first deadlift variation that I always coach my clients on is the kettlebell deadlift. And this is really just because it's the easiest and simplest to understand while still providing the exact same benefits, especially from a external loading standpoint as well as a movement patterning standpoint. So when coaching the kettlebell deadlift, the first thing that I talk about is where you place the kettlebell. And um, just to give you a better idea, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see, is instead of having the kettlebell start out in front of you, you wanna have it start right in the middle of your feet, okay? And actually I want the handle of the kettlebell to be more towards the middle of my feet or even slightly closer towards my heels. Because if the kettlebell starts out in front of you like this, imagine if it was a big bag of groceries or a heavy bag of luggage, you wouldn't want to reach really far out, right? Because it's going to place more stress on your lower back. So to keep it as safe as possible, you're going to start with it right in the center of your body. So the handle is going to be right in the middle of your feet. Now from this position, you're going to get your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and toes slightly externally rotated. So from here, the first movement is you're going to let your arms just hang straight down like this, okay? You're going to keep your chest tall, arms hanging straight down, and you're going to imagine someone has a rope tied around your waist. And from this position, you're going to try to get your butt to touch the wall behind you. So arms straight, chest tall, get your butt to touch the wall behind you just like this, and continue that movement until your hands grab onto the kettlebell, okay? Now, really important to note, you're not actually trying to reach with the kettlebell, reach towards it with your hands. You're just trying to get your butt to touch the wall behind you until your hands actually reach the kettlebell. From that position, you're gonna take a big breath in, squeeze your abs nice and tight, drive through your heels, stand up and finish the lift, okay? So again, I'm gonna do a couple reps right here just to show you. Butt back to the wall behind me, driving through the heels, stand up. Couple things to note. Number one, I'm not jerking the kettlebell off the floor. I'm not here and jerking it like that. That's not safe for the lower back. I'm butt back to the wall behind me, take a nice big breath, squeeze my abs, and progressively pull it off the floor without any jerking motion. Also, when I get to this top part of the lift, I'm not hyperextending my lower back or leaning backwards. I'm standing up nice and tall. All you have to do, you don't even have to cue your clients anything other than just stand up nice and tall as you normally would. If you start trying to focus too much on using the glutes or if you're trying to get them to focus too much on extending, a lot of the times they'll end up back here. All you want to do is come down and stand up nice and tall. That's the, mo the, movement, the movement. So to show you from the front view, Again, kettlebell is more towards my heels, weight is on my heels, trying to get my butt to touch the wall behind me. Hands come onto the kettlebell, take a big breath, squeeze my abs, drive through my heels, stand up. And that is the kettlebell deadlift.